Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, I'll be showing you how to host multiple websites on a single IP address using Nginx. I had done a previous video where I had done the hosting of multiple websites on a single IP address using Apache. So if you want, you can take a look at the video. I had given the video link in the description. Now let's get started with the Nginx and the concept of hosting multiple websites on a single IP address in Apache is known as virtual host whereas in Nginx it is called as server blocks. So first of all I have a directory in the desktop named web pages inside which I have two HTML files. One is example.html file and the another one is test.html file. For this example, I'll be creating a test.com as well as example.com on this machine. These two HTML pages will be the respective index files of the respective websites. For example, the example.com will have the example.html as the index page and the other one will be having the test.html as the index page. So these are the contents of the HTML. It's a simple HTML file. For the example.html, it contains it's an example website and the test.html consists of a test website. Now first of all let's get started with installing nginx sudo apt install nginx okay i have already installed it now first of all let's navigate to desktop slash web pages inside which i have the two html pages now i need to create a directory so sudo mkdir slash var slash www example dot com slash public underscore HTML here I will use a minus P so that it will create all the parent directories if not exist I will do the same for test.com as well so that's done now I need to copy these HTML files to these directories before that I need to change the permission for the same minus R is for recursive then the username then the path I will do the same for the test.com also. Now that's done. Now I need to do a CS mod, which is usually 775. Then for the example.com directory as well. That's it. Now it is done. Now you can just copy that is using cp example.html to slash where slash www slash example.com slash public underscore html and here I will name it as index.html so we are just copying the example.html as index.html into this corresponding directory that's all now I'll do the same for the test.com as well this time I'll change the directory to test.com and I will also copy the test.html as the index file so that's done now we have created the HTML pages in the corresponding directories for the websites now let's get started with configuring our nginx so first of all let's navigate to a directory cd slash etc slash nginx then sites available so if you list down here you can see a default configuration that is the default web page configuration now i have to create uh, one for the example.com and another one for the test.com so inside here i'll just type in server then i will go with the listen I will mention it as star whichever IP address it doesn't matter then the port and then a semicolon then I will go for listen and this one is actually for the IPv6 okay any request coming through an IPv6 IP okay and now server name which can be example.com then you have the location which takes in two parameters one is the root which will be the path to the public directory corresponding to the website in our case it is example.com slash public underscore HTML then put a semicolon then the index so it will be index.html then put a semicolon then close this one then the close the server opening braces also uh, I missed a semicolon here you need to put a semicolon there as well so once you are done you can save it before closing it I'll do one more thing for example as we said we are hosting example.com and test.com on the same server with the same IP so what happens if someone approaches our website using directly the IP rather than the domain name we can just type in 127.0.0.1 
in our browser and it will take us to a website right which will be the default website so that is known as the default website if we have multiple server blocks or multiple website hosted using server blocks in nginx we need to specify one as the default and only one server at a time can be the default for that there is a keyword actually you need to use default server you have to specify it here also that is a default server now you can save it that's done you can just copy sudo cp example.com to test.com actually i need to open it as sudo in this actually i will remove this default server as i said only one website can be the default server so i will just remove this keyword from here in case of test.com in my example i will be using the example.com as the default website whenever someone approaches the website using the ip address rather than the domain name so here i will name the server name as test.com then i will change the root directory to test.com slash public.html now i can save it uh, earlier i tried to open it using the test.com directly without sudo actually we are inside the directory which is only accessible to the sudo user now once you are done with setting up these things uh, you are ready to start your server before that you need to enable these signs okay so how do we do that just go to cd dot dot slash sites enabled there is a directory you can list down anything if anything is here just remove all the configurations file from here just go back to sites available now create sudo ln minus a symbolic link to slash etc slash nginx then sites available then the example.com here as dot dot slash sites enabled i'll name it as example.com okay then i will do the same for the test.com as well okay now you have enabled the websites i will clear the screen first then i will sudo systemctl restart nginx okay that's it so you have restarted the nginx successfully now once you have restarted the nginx server you need to simulate a small dns so that you can type in example.com on your browser and it, it will redirect it or it gets the ip resolved as your local ip address that is 127.0.0.1 so that can be actually done by editing sudo vi slash etc slash host file inside which we will add two more entries that is 127.0.0.1 0.1 which will be pointing to example.com then you can say 127.0.0.1 which will be pointing to test.com as well now in the local system whenever if you do an ns lookup then you say example.com it will say the ip address of the website is this one 127.0.1.1 you can do it and see for the test.com as well now we have proved that both these domains are pointing to the same IP address on which our Nginx is running, that is our local machine. Now you can just go to the browser, just say example.com. You can see that this is the website that is coming up. Okay. And you can also say test.com. Actually, it is taking it from the cache. Actually, test.com is bought by someone else and all. Actually, you can just clear the cache by pressing Ctrl Shift to delete. Uh, that's all then you clear the cache then i will open up a new tab here i will give test.com which should take you to the test website so you can actually modify the the host file accordingly actually as i said this dns setting up using the host file is actually done for the test purpose it is just for simulating a small dns so how it works actually now that we have done the example let's see how it actually works i have created a detailed video on this so let's see how an http request goes and how actually the server understands for which website actually the user requested for so this is an example in which the user tries to approach the example.com using the browser whenever you type in a domain name into your browser it goes to a dns server then resolves the ip address in our case it was already given in the host file so it will be going to the 127.0.0.1 or whatever be the ip address then the request is sent to the ip address in this format it is a sample http request 
it may have other fields as well but our interest is all about this host field that is present within the request you could see something called a host which is specifying the domain name that you have typed on your browser for example www.xaml.com and this is the exact thing that is used by our servers like nginx and apache this is how apache or nginx knows which website actually you have you are requesting for when you are typing in directly the IP address onto the browser URL you can see the host name will be the same as IP address in that case the default website will be served okay this mechanism actually helps these processes to serve the corresponding websites and also makes it enable to host multiple websites on a given IP address hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe thank you